Welcome to Mass Minutes with Melissa. This Sunday is the Sunday of the Holy Trinity. What is the Trinity? The Trinity is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three persons in one God. That is really hard for us to wrap our minds around. How can one being be three different persons? It's one of the great mysteries of God. I have a little something here to kind of help you um, visualize that. So I have three glasses of water here. They're all the same, same water from the same tap. Okay, so let's think of this as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm going to take the water from the Father and put it into this bowl. Father, and then the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, when we look at those three separate cups of water. They're in one bowl. They are one. Just like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one in God. So today's reading comes from Matthew, and we're going to hear about Jesus taking his disciples up the mountain in Galilee. Now, we see this setting a number of times. And this is when Jesus is trying to tell his disciples something important. He usually takes them to the mountain. So let's listen and see what Jesus is going to tell the disciples about the Holy Trinity and what he expects them to do um, for him. This is the gospel from Matthew 28, 16 through 20. The 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshiped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached them and said, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. So much going on in there. So much of our faith comes from this scene, from this part of Jesus's ministry on earth. So we hear that the disciples came and worshiped, but they doubted. They believed in Jesus. They trusted him they didn't really understand what was going on. Do you ever have that maybe with your parents or a grandparent or a loved one? They might say something to you and you're like, I just don't know how that is also true. But you believe them because you love them and you know that they are going to take good care of you, right? This is like the disciples with Jesus. They might not quite understand everything he's saying, but they choose to believe him and trust him, just like we choose to do that every day in our lives when we don't really understand everything he's telling us. Here we find out about baptism. If you've attended a baptism recently, you know in our faith that we baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When those words are said by the priest or deacon, water from the baptismal font is poured over the child's head three times. That's to represent the Trinity. Jesus was starting the sacrament of baptism here. It's pretty interesting to see, to be in our position and to be able to look back and see where all of these great traditions happened and started in our Catholic faith. I love this. The other part I love is that Jesus says, behold, I am with you always until the end 
of the age. That is a long time. We don't have any idea how long it's been. It's been over 2,000 years since Jesus walked this earth, but we are still in that blank page of writing the story of this history before we all end up in heaven with Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit at Parousia when we become all in all and one with God. What an amazing time that will be. This week, I want you to spend time with your loved ones and I want you to think and share about the images that come to mind when someone says the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What do you see when you ponder about those three persons in one God? What images come to mind? Talk about that for a while. See if they're the same or different than your loved ones. And then talk about which one do you relate the most to? Who do you find yourself praying to the most? When you begin to pray, do you say, dear God? Do you say, Heavenly Father? Do you say, Jesus? Do you say, Holy Spirit? Which one of those three persons do you feel most comfortable praying to? Why do you think that is? And which one don't you pray to as much? And ponder why you might not pray to that part, that being of God the most. God is all in all. He is all these things and more. And he wants us to follow him and to pray to him, no matter what person we relate to the most. He just wants us to pray and then go and tell others about him. So this week, ponder what he, those images are. Think about who you pray to the most and relate to and share those conversations with others. Because in those conversations, you will be making new disciples to Christ. You will be strengthening not only your relationship with Christ, but the people you are talking with. And that is exactly what the Lord wants us to do. God bless.